Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a quick review on this Gourmia Automatic Espresso Machine. This is Walmart's Black Friday, $50. I did not think this was gonna be this good of a machine. It's a game changer. $50, great price point, automatic. I'm gonna go through, I have a setup video. Setup was very simple. Prime in the pump was simple. The machine just works. It has an Americano, it actually works. We can do a latte, cappuccino, espresso. Uh, I'm gonna show you all how to do it really quick, but the drinks actually taste really good. Now, I was using my coffee, just a dad simple sip coffee. It's a Brazilian dark roast. Um, I'm sure this would work good with like Dunkin' Donuts or something, but you don't have to grind the coffee to a really fine grind. Mine comes pre-ground or whole bean. I, do, I am grinding mine today, but I'm grinding it at a medium grind, which is like you'd use in a normal coffee maker. That's what's game changer about this. So I'm pretty excited about it. Let's do the review. Okay, so we got a power switch on the right-hand side. Really nice touch display. Here's the Americano switch. Latte, we can do a single double, single double uh, espresso. We got a clean button and we can manually add a little bit more froth or add some more espresso. Now, probably the hardest part is the milk frother. You got to lift up down here at the bottom and then it pulls in and out. You'll know the display will change. But line up, there's a little notch here, line that up. Again, you're gonna put, fill this up with milk. And then we've got a button here we can use for less froth or more froth. But line this notch up, this is probably the hardest part. Just slide it in. Now you're gonna push down here at the bottom till that kind of goes into that notch. Then the display lights up. We can rotate this. Now let's talk portafilters. Now there was one little thing with the portafilter. This edge is kind of sharp. I haven't been cut by it yet, but it kind of feels rough. You know, for an area where you're going to be doing a lot of work, that can be kind of tricky. Now these, it comes with a double shot and a single shot. Those filter baskets are pressurized filter baskets. They're not the non-pressurized. So with that, we can use pre-ground coffee. Now there's a little notch here. Line that up right there. It's got a maximum line. And again, I'm using my own coffee just to add simple sip with the dark Brazilian roast. Now we got the scoop. Put two scoops in here. This You want to keep this... It gets tricky. Sometimes I make a mess doing it. It's fine. I try to not to each time, but it's, it's hard. Yeah, see, you want, I'm already making a mess. But you don't want any material or coffee grounds on this or on this little ledge right here. And now we're going to tamp that down. Now, it doesn't say how hard of a tamp, but I just kind of press it down. Not super hard. If you're using already ground coffee like Folgers or something, it's not going to tamp a whole lot. Again, make sure there's no coffee here. And then you're gonna rotate this, start off at an angle, hold the machine, and it's very easy. Okay, so one other thing, you don't have a whole lot of room here with the drip tray, about four and a quarter. You know, you can take the drip tray out, just a little, a little bit more mess to clean up, about five and a half. Okay, so you wanna direct the milk frother into there. Again, rotate this, that's less froth. So like for a cappuccino, or no, for a latte, you want less froth. And then there's a plus sign over here, more froth. And this is clean and Americano all the way over. So we'll go about halfway. Now, again, we're going to do a double latte. So you press the button once as a single, press it again, that's a double. Now, this machine is kind of sneaky. It sits here like it's not doing anything for about 20 seconds. And then it starts working. It's going to froth the milk. You get quite a bit of milk froth or milk coming out. Then it's going to do the espresso shot. So here comes the froth. You get a lot of, for a double latte, that's a lot of milk and froth. Probably should have turned it down. Man. Yep, too much. Well, that's a disaster. Is it not stopping? Surely that's not the right amount. Well, now it's doing the double. Well, I don't know what went, I don't know what happened. So now it's doing the espresso shot. Well, let me clean this mess up and see what happened. Okay, not ex exactly sure what happened there. Um, I turned it was just it just made a lot of froth. I don't know why. I uh, didn't do that earlier, but 
Uh, so for a latte, you definitely want to have this at the minus, less froth. I'm going to have it all the way to the left. Let's try this again. Now, earlier I did some testing and they were all right on. So it says for a latte, you need a 16 ounce glass. That's what I had. It made right at 16 ounces. Okay, I stopped it earlier. It was going to overflow again. Okay, not sure. I'm going to turn this the other way. Maybe I got this wrong. Let's turn it right here and see what it does. Okay, now I know I know what it, I know what's wrong. Now it's going to do the double shot. It's how you read that frothing switch, but I want to watch. I want to show you the, the the double shot espresso coming out. Boy, do I feel dumb. And there's your double shot. And it's all automatic shuts off automatically and you're ready to go okay <laughs> this is less froth <laughs> they've got the they got the plus sign with an arrow so this is more froth and it is definitely a lot of froth when you go all the way over there so my mistake but i think this could be a little better maybe and even the instructions i've read it's not real clear it says turn Sorry about that. So there's a latte with very little froth, which is what you kind of want. All right, let's add a little bit of syrup. I like to add some French vanilla. You can add white chocolate mocha, any kind of syrups you want. About two tablespoons is what you need, or one. I would try with one and then try it first. Okay, let's give that a taste. Now it's hot, be careful. Mm. That's a really hot drink. For these automatic espresso machines usually these things cool down super quick um but this one stays hot i noticed that when i was doing my other the setup this drink sat there for a while and it was actually really it's really hot now that tastes really good um you know I, I do think my coffee just has a really good taste to it so if you want a coffee that you know works in this machine just a dead simple sip but this is a really good tasting drink sorry i got a little sidetracked so let's take this out now this puck is going to be wet that's common with these uh, pressurized filter baskets. You may have a little bit of water on there or something, but that is common for that puck to be wet. Take it over to your trash can, lift that little lever up, and you can beat that, that puck out. It comes out really messy. And this is probably the, the toughest part is cleaning this up. And look who has showed up for her treat. Okay, let's do the Americano. I'm really excited about that because it actually works really well. We want to turn this switch all the way to the clean position. You'll see there's an Americano and clean. Now you can go right into an Americano. You will get just a little bit of milk. It's very, very minor, but I'm going to do just a quick clean cycle. You'll just get some hot water coming out of that steam tube. You know, and you can even quit it early. It would, it would stop automatically. I've got my double shot again. You can do a single or a double for Americano. Put it in. I've got my glass, direct this into the glass. Now this is pretty, this is pretty neat what it does. Again, make sure that's on the uh, clean or Americano switch. We're simply gonna press this Americano twice. And again, the machine kind of sits there like it's not doing anything. Okay, here comes your hot water. That's really, really hot. 195 degrees, again, if I hadn't have done that clean cycle, you get just a little bit. It tastes fine with it, though. Okay, now it's, get, now it's doing the espresso shot. There's your hot water, and here comes the espresso shot. Now, 
Now, I don't drink Americanos, but it looks really good. And it's really hot. All right, again, there's that Americano switch. All right, let's take it out. Yeah, it's got the crema on the top, you know. I did, this actually gets, this actually gets pretty hot up here. You can pre-warm your mugs. It's got a water reservoir here on the back that you can remove. There's also, there's actually a power switch. Now again, I could just do espresso. It won't do any milk frothing. Nothing will come out this. I can do a single shot, a double shot, cappuccino latte. Again, if you're gonna do a cappuccino, you want more milk froth, which is the, the negative symbol. <laughs> we know that now and be prepared for a lot of froth. It actually does a really good job of frothing milk. And the latte over here to the right, we can do Americano. We can, again, you can add manual espresso. So let's just play with that. Let's hit the espresso again. Now I'll have to stop that. And again, the machine is really silent for a little bit and then it starts. So there we're getting some more out. And then if I'm ready, I can stop it manually. I can also add a little froth. And again, I'll have to stop it manually. When, when I'm using these other ones, it's automatic. And now what's really nice is I can put this jar in the refrigerator it's, since it's got a bunch of milk in it, but I wanna do a clean cycle. So rotate this all the way to the clean position and then just hit this. It's automatically gonna run some hot water through there and then stop. Okay. So again, the best part, the easiest part of getting this off is lift this up at the bottom, then start to pull straight out. Now I can put this in the refrigerator and it's ready to go for the next time. So sorry about that. I should have, I was just too anxious to get this review out. I should have done some more playing around with it, but I hope you had fun today. I did. I've got to cut this video short. I mean, we can make every single drink. I'm actually out of milk. It took a whole um, half a gallon of milk. Again, I really appreciate everybody's support. If you could go check out my coffee, just a dad, simple sip coffee. It, it actually does taste really good. YouTube just sent me my 100,000 subscriber plaque. Thank you, everybody. This is not possible without everybody's support. So if you could hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button, be sure and check out my Just Add Videos group page on Facebook. This is where I do my free giveaways. So when I'm done with these products, I bought this with my own money. I thought it was money well spent. I would spend $50 on this. And I will give my products away for free on this Just Add Videos Facebook group page. Again, I had Gourmia. I thought no way is this gonna be a good espresso machine. This is probably better than the Chefman. I mean, that Americano game changer. Uh, the Mr. Coffee, the, the one that's been around, the barista, uh, it's like it's around 150 now on Amazon. Um, man, $50. That's a really good price. So again, I hope this video helps. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.